Oh, uh, this lesson is on uh, solving special types of linear equations. And this is a board problem that I'm giving into my class, and so this is also going along with a, uh, another class. Um, so you might as well go ahead and take care of this, or this board problem right here. So go ahead and pause it and write these things down, and then I'll show you the answers in just a minute after you write them down and work on them. So my class probably takes, I don't know, 15 minutes or so to work on these. Uh, to see if they can get them. So when I have kids come up to the board and explain them, I don't know what this other class is going to do. But anyways, when you do that, then um, uh, here's all my answers that I worked on. So uh, let's see if I can go through. I had to get common denominators between 25 and 30, which is 150. So I multiplied 25 times 6. So I had to multiply 6 times 6. So I got 36 over 150. And then uh, 30 goes into 155 times, so 5 over 5 gave me that. Then I can go ahead and add 36 plus, uh, plus 45 gave me 81 over 150 and then 3 goes into both those. 3 goes into 81 27 times. Whoops! This is supposed to be a 50 right here, not a 150. That's supposed to be a 50. Okay, so pretend like that 1's not there. It's supposed to be a 50. Okay, let's see if I got this one right over here. Okay, I just multiplied this one by, by 10 over 10 because uh, 6 goes into 60 10 times. So I got uh, 30 over 60 minus 19 over 60 is 11 over 60, and then 6 minus 5 is, is 1. Oops, and, oops, another mistake I caught. This should be a 12, you guys. This is 6 plus 6. Shame on me. Anyways, uh, that's okay. You guys can get the correct answer. Uh, okay, on this one, let's see if I got this one right. Okay, two fists squared. Two fists times two fists is uh, four twenty fists. And then, uh, well, since I'm multiplying it with one half, I had to get a common denominator between this two and twenty-five, which is fifty. So I multiplied this one by two over two, and this one by twenty-five over twenty-five. So four times two is this eight, and then twenty-five times um, one is twenty-five, and then add those together over fifty, and I get thirty-three over fifty. Okay, over here, uh, i got to plug in 3 eighths and square it. So 3 eighths times 3 eighths is 9 24 So here's my 3, which is 3 over 1, times 9 over 24. Nothing cross cancels, so go ahead and multiply. 3 times 9 is 27 over 64. And then when we add that 1, it's just 1 and 27 over 64. Okay, over here, I added all three of these big 1s over here and gave me this 3 over here. And then the common denominator between the 3, the 6, and the 18 is 18. So I multiplied this one by 6 over 6 to get me 12. This one by 3 over 3 to get me 15. And this one just stayed at 17. And then add those three numbers and you get 44 over 18. And then reduce that by 2. 2 goes into that 22 times. 2 goes into that uh, 9 times. So this becomes uh, 2 and 4 ninths. So I added the 3 with the 2. So 2 and 4 ninths plus 3 gave me 5 and 4 ninths. All right, here we go. Okay, so solving special types of linear systems. Uh, and it's just the same, you guys. We're doing the same thing. So solve the, the linear system using substitution or elimination. Here on this one, I am going to use the substitution property. I'm going to put in uh, that 4 minus x for the y. This should be uh, you know, familiar work that we've been doing. So let's go ahead and substitute that in. Uh, and then I can combine like terms. Be careful, you guys. Negative 3x minus x. Be careful. It's negative 4x. I'm still getting a lot of people writing 2x, negative 2x. So that's an Algebra 1 error you want to uh, get rid of, you guys. Because uh, my Algebra 2 kids still sometimes do that. I do, too. You guys saw me make mistakes on that last one. I do it all the time. Okay, so now I'm going to subtract off that red 4 on both sides, and negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12, so negative 4 goes into negative 12 3 times, okay, and then 3 goes right up into there, 4 minus 3 is 1, so my ordered pair is 3 comma 1. Okay, nothing new, so that's all, all the same. Okay, here's another one, solve this guy. Again, I'm going to use the substitution property and put that in for that y right there, so here we go. So um, uh, I put the y in right next to the 2. And then now I'm going to distribute this 2 through. So 2 times a half is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. But watch out, it's negative, you guys, because this negative right here. So this is going to be actually minus 1x, and this is actually going to be a minus 4. So here we go. Uh, and then check it out, you guys. x minus x cancel each other out right there. And I'm left with negative 4 equals negative 4. Well, when you run into a situation like this, you guys, um, negative 4 equals negative 4 no matter what x is. x could be anything and y could be anything. Not anything, but there are infinitely many correct answers. So um, that's what you say is infinitely many correct answers. And the word infinite uh, is represented by a sideways 8. So there's infinitely many correct uh, solutions right there. 
Okay, it's not all real numbers because not everything will work, you guys, but there are infinite amount of answers. And what happens, you guys, is this. Let's go back to uh, when we graphed these. I'll graph this top line right here, do my intercept. So when x equals 0, negative 2 goes into 4 2 times. And when y equals 0, x equals negative 4. So if I graph those two guys, there's that line right there. Okay, then on this one, I'm going to go ahead and graph that plus 2 first, which is right there. Okay, and then I'm going to use this slope. I'm going to go up 1 to the right 2 from here. So up 1 to the right 2. And what happens is it lands on that line. It's the same line. That's why there's infinitely many correct answers. Do you see all the infinitely many correct answers right there? That one's correct. That one's correct. That one's correct. That one's correct. All of these points, they, they it's the same line, you guys. So there's, there are infinitely many correct answers. But the reason why it's not all real numbers is this point right there is not a part of the solution. It's off the line right there. Okay, so it's not all real numbers. It's just infinitely many correct numbers. Okay, here's another one, you guys. So if you get an agreement, negative 4 equals negative 4, then that is true. So you say all real numbers. Here's another goofy one, you guys. Okay, here I'm going to multiply that top equation by, by negative 2 because that will get me a negative 2y that will cancel out with that positive 2y. But what happens here, you guys, when I add these two equations together, I get everything cancels on the left, so I get 0. 0 equals negative 12. Well, 0 doesn't equal negative 12. 0 equals 0, or negative 12 equals negative 12. So this one is, it's, there's no solutions. And what kind of lines do you think? Remember when we graphed and we found out where they intersected and that was the solution? Well, what kind of two lines would not intersect? They would be parallel lines. I don't think I have a graph on this one, you guys. But these guys would graph parallel lines. So they don't intersect, and that's why there's no solution on it. There is no intersection of them. They're just two parallel lines. All right, now let's try another one. Here, you guys. Okay, going to multiply the top by negative 1, slide the bottom one over, and then I can add them together. Here I get a solution, so 2y equals 8, y equals 4, so you get x equals 3, and the answer is 3 comma 4. Okay, so not all of them are going to be goofy. If you get like, you know, 10 equals 10, then that means infinitely correct, uh, uh, infinitely many solutions. But if you get like 10 equals 15, where it disagrees, because 10 doesn't equal 15, then that means no solution. So watch out for negatives. It's, it's easy to make mistakes. Here's another one. Okay, I'm going to use the substitution property on this one. Uh, so I'm going to distribute that negative 2 through. And here I get 8 equals 8. Okay, that, that yes, 8 equals 8. So the answer is infinitely many solutions. All right. Let's try another one, okay? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and multiply uh, the bottom times negative 1. Just change all the signs so they'll go back, okay? I just went through and did, I changed this sign to a negative, to a negative, to a negative, so I can cancel out. And then I, I get, uh, when I add them together, 0 equals 8. When that's the case, 0 doesn't equal 8, uh, so that one's going to be uh, no solution, okay? Because 0 does not equal 8. All right, and then here's your homework right here. So pause it right here so you guys can copy down that homework. This is a mix and match, so it's not a page number in the book or anything. This I just grabbed in, uh, out of different pieces in the book. Okay, so pause it, copy those down, and then I'll show you the answers here next. All right, there's your answers right there.